Hi everyone, so now that we have deposited the Sol cryptocurrency to our Binance account, we can now move to our next goal. Our next goal is to transfer the Sol cryptocurrency from Binance to our Solana digital wallet so we can use our Sol coins inside the Stepen app. To do that, we will want to provide Binance with our Solana digital wallet address. A digital wallet address reminds me of a physical address in the physical world. If we want someone to send us a package, we need to give this person the delivery address. In the offline world, it can be a home address or an office address, and in the digital world, it is a digital wallet address. So inside the Stepen app, on the wallet tab, we will want to tap on the line under the Zero Sol caption to copy the wallet address. We can also tap the receive icon under the wallet address and then tap the copy address button at the bottom of the app to copy our digital wallet address. And we will see a copy success message that indicates that we were successful in copying the address. Once we have copied our wallet address, we can tap the buy button, logging to our Binance account again, Tap the withdraw button in the middle of the screen. Tap the drop down list under the coin caption at the top of the page. Pick Sol instead of BTC, meaning Solana instead of Bitcoin. Tap the line under the address caption below and then tap the paste option to paste the address into the address line. Now Binance will know to which digital wallet address we want our sole cryptocurrency to be sent. Once we pasted our wallet address into the address line, the line under the network caption will be filled automatically for us with the Solana blockchain network option. Next, in the line under the amount caption, which is under the network caption, we will want to insert the sole amount that we want to transfer to our Solana wallet. So you can either type the amount that you want to transfer to Stepen manually, or you can just, as I'm doing, just tap the tiny max caption at the right side of the line to just insert the full amount of sole that you have in your account. Great, so we can now see the full amount in capital letters and under this amount, we have the network fee that we are going to pay for processing our transaction. If everything looks good, we can just tap the withdraw button to start the withdrawing process. Then after we have reviewed the details inside the withdraw window that has just popped up, we can tap the continue button. We will just have to pass the security verification to continue. Great, so we now see a message on the screen that confirms that our withdrawal request has been submitted and we are also informed that we will get an email once it is completed. So we now get a message that our withdrawal request is awaiting approval and that it should take approximately 12 hours for the request to be confirmed. Okay, so let's tap the complete button inside this window to continue. Now, if we scroll down the Withdraw Crypto page, we will see the status of our transaction. And as we can see under the recent withdrawals caption, we can see our transaction right next to the sole caption in the processing status. If we will now tap the profile icon at the upper right hand corner of the page, then the wallet option, then the overview option, and then scroll down, we will be able to see our current transaction status, which in my case, it is already completed. Yet from my experience, sometimes it does take 
hours to complete and sometimes the transaction can even get rejected. When I get a transaction rejected, I just wait a few hours, check that my cryptocurrency is still in my Binance account, and if so, I will just go through the entire withdrawal process again. Now, if we go to the Step and App, we need to be on the wallet page. We can try to refresh the app page to see if the amount is already inside our app. To refresh the page, we will want to tap the screen, hold, move our finger down while holding, and then release. We should eventually see our sole cryptocurrency inside the app under the Solana drop-down box at the top of the app. If you don't see the cryptocurrency amount right away, then just wait and then try to refresh the page again. Once we see the amount, we need to transfer it to our spending account. And we can do that by tapping the transfer button, which is located under our sole cryptocurrency balance. And then by tapping the two spending option under it. So we can see that under the tiny asset caption, we have the sole coin already picked for us by default. And in the line under the amount caption, we can again just insert the amount that we want to transfer manually and just tap the very tiny all caption at the very end of the blank amount line. So after tapping the all caption, all the sole amount will be shown inside the line and we can now just tap the confirm transfer button under the line to continue. And inside the pop-up box, we can review the details. And then if everything looks okay, tap on confirm. Then we will be directed back to the wallet page where we will see a message in the middle of the screen that confirms that the transaction was submitted and that it should be completed within two to five minutes. So as I said, we are now on the wallet page and we can see under the Solana drop-down list that the current sole balance in our wallet is zero. So the transaction was indeed submitted. And if we tap the spending tab, which is next to the wallet tab, we can again refresh the page a few times until we see our sole cryptocurrency under the spending account caption inside the sole dedicated box. Again, it should take two to five minutes for our soul to appear there. Once we see the amount inside the soul box, we are done. We have successfully moved our funds from our wallet to our spending account. I will now just do exactly as I told you to do in a previous lesson, meaning I will select a shoe that I want to purchase. I will tap on the shoe that I want. Tap the buy now button. If everything looks good, tap confirm. Then confirm again. And as you can see by the message at the center of the screen, the shoe has been purchased by me. We can confirm that the shoe has been purchased by either tapping the shoe icon at the bottom of the app or by tapping the running person icon next to it. We have an energy line under our shoe, the line where we see the words next refill in. In this line, we can see how much energy we currently have and when our energy is going to be refilled. If we see that we do have energy, then we can tap on the start button and start the exercise. Okay, so that's it for this lesson and I will see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.